Over the last two decades, Uganda has pursued policies aimed at economic and social development. Economic growth has averaged 5.5% since the year 2000, mainly in industry, agriculture and services. Recognizing that nutrition interventions are essential investments in human infrastructure for long-term development, the government of Uganda identified priority actions to strengthen nutrition within key social sectors, including health, agriculture and education. As a result, Uganda Multisectoral Food Security, a nutrition project with the main objective to increase production and consumption of micronutrient-rich foods and utilization of community-based nutrition services in smallholder households, was initiated in 2015. Asisi Primary School in Kabarole has embraced the project as teacher Moses Musinguzi narrates. The project has done tremendous wonders for the school. Uh, we have our pupils attending school every day. We have done away with school dropouts and we want to attribute the large numbers and the retention and the improved performance of the school to the impact of the project. We have a garden where we come and participate in agriculture. We come, we dig, we weed, and we mulch where possible. With the pupils, we are given a chance to come and participate, like when there is need of mulching, weeding, or even harvesting, we are given some. School demonstration gardens act as learning points for both the pupils and parents. The parents come to the school demonstration gardens to learn the new agronomic practices, which are replicated in the communities. Grace is a lead farmer attached to Kasisi Primary School. She says the project benefits are immense. The project is very important. We have a lot of people who are here. We have a lot of people who are active. We have a lot of people who are here. We have a lot of people who are here. We have a lot of people who are here. We have Bitunabani Kanyamba, Mubiokulia, Awakuba and Katungam, balanced diet of Semero, Muntun or Semero, Takulia Mukaya. Echia Kaviri to Kagobamu, Evin to Evia to Hei, Kamagali, Enengere, Bombo, Nevin to Evin de Vin. Echia Kasatu, Nayangana Goboramu, Amagaza Boko, Gasavan to Avandi, Avan to Avandi, Komulingo, Semeri to Azam, Kulimamu, Yokulia of Maka. Ekin to Ekin, Ek to Agoboroi, eh? To Agoboram, no Semera, Fukara, Oli Muyonjo, Makata. Then Batuegesa, Evioto, Eviomulen. Batuombekera, Evioto, Eviomulen. Among the priority actions to strengthen nutrition, the health sector plays a critical role in curbing malnutrition. They also facilitate the health sector with nutrition supplements. They are working in conjunction with schools. 15 schools are attached to this health center. We are working towards improving the nutrition status of our area, building on our children and mothers, pregnant mothers and children of our interest are children below two and our school going children primary. We are honored that we received some of the supplies and equipment to support us in doing this. And to start with was uh, nutrition assessment, such that we can be able to distinguish between those who are well nourished and those who are poorly nourished. That was um, about 21 weighing scales for adults 
and seven skills for children that come for immunization services below one year. These have helped us because previously we, we had a challenge in screening when you could find you have like one scale and it's best maybe in OPD. But apparently every service point has tools that can screen for nutrition and it has improved on our documentation. Nkajirenda, niza na tanda poku chereza, poku ikawusha nga hawa shawa na paachira, uta hama iba kwa ni na chereza, harmina wakwa ni na rayamba ho, wakwa ni na rayamba wa shaho, Bakuteka minzani bakupuma, bakupuma bulichumwe chona, kilo, za mwaka, na mkono, bakupuma bulingwa. Experiences in Uganda and globally have shown that undernutrition may persist even as income improves. Uganda's strategic framework for economic development and national development plan incorporates nutrition as a cross-cutting issue in the following key sectors. Agriculture, health, education, and gender, labor, and social development. The $27.6 million project is funded by the Global Agriculture and Food Security Program and supervised by the World Bank. Food and Nutrition Project. Hi.